Hey, Mr. Trill, how are you doing out there today? Nice. Um, what do you got? What have you got planned for today? Oh, you're going to teach them what ratios are and how ratios work in the real world. Oh, okay. Um, do you want to pause the video and discuss anything? Go ahead right now. If not, I'll continue. Okay. Well, anyways, um, let me help you while you're out there. I'll be up here showing the kids what they're going to build. And then what we'll do is we'll pause the video as we need to. How does that sound? Hey, how, how's that kid? Are they focused? Okay, just checking. All right. Okay, kids. Um, while I'm out there helping you, I'm going to be up here showing you what you need to, do, to uh, build, what you need to get out of your parts, kits, and everything like that. You're going to need to take out a piece of paper and a pencil, all right? So, uh, Mr. Trill, pause the video if you need to. Let them get that stuff out. Are they ready? Okay, good. All right, kids, get ready to write down. First, we're going to start out with our rods, okay? You are going to need a total of four yellow rods, okay? Four yellow rods. That's what you'll need. So write down four yellow rods, all right? And then the next rod that you will need will be the blue rod, okay? The blue rod. Now, you might not see blue in the video, but this is a blue rod. You can tell it's a blue rod by the way it compares to a yellow rod, its length. Okay, you're going to need a total of one, one, two, three, four, five, six blue rods. Okay, you're going to need six blue rods. So that's important. Next are going to be the white rods. Okay, these white rods. All right, you're going to need a total of four white rods. Um, Mr. Trill, is it okay if I don't get all the parts right now? Maybe if we need to, I can adjust the video. Okay, yeah, well, I think I've got everything. All right, I was as accurate as possible. Next is the green rods, okay? Itsy, bitsy, teeny, tiny green rod, all right? You're going to need two green rods, all right? So that should do it for the rods, okay? So double check. You need four yellow rods. You need one, two, three, four, five, six blue rods, four white rods, and two green rods. All right, what next? Oh, connectors. Okay, so now we're going to go into the connectors. You're going to need two of these snowflake connectors, two of them, okay? These are a number eight connector because they can hold eight rods on them, okay? Next, you're going to need yellow connectors. You're going to need a total of four yellow connectors. Four yellow connectors. These are five-point connectors. One, two, three, four, five. Five-point yellow connectors, okay? Now, it's interesting that we could actually create a ratio right here, couldn't we? Yeah. We could say we have a ratio of yellow connectors to white connectors. The ratio of yellow connectors to white connectors is 4 to 2, okay? That means that for every two white connectors, you have the four yellow. It's important that if I say yellow to white, you say 4 to 2. Now, this can be simplified. In other words, we can pair up evenly one white connector to two yellow connectors. So really, the ratio can be simplified down to yellow to white, two to one, two to one. Now, if I switched it around and said, what's the ratio of white connectors to yellow connectors, it would be one to two, all right? So that was kind of a neat little piece of information, wasn't it, Mr. Trilla? Oh, isn't it nice that you give these kids this information? Oh, yeah. All right, so next, we're going to use red connectors. We need two red connectors, all right? So at this point, we have 
four yellow connectors, two white connectors, and two red connectors. Now, if we compare red connectors to white connectors, we have a two to two ratio, or if we simplify, a one to one ratio, okay? All right, other connectors? Yep, here we go. You're going to need two 180 orange connectors. These are 180 orange connectors, okay? And then, last but not least, this right here, dark gray connector. Mr. Trilla, do they know what a dark gray connector is? Okay, this is a dark gray connector, all right? It can only hold one thing. It's round down here, and it can only hit, put a connector up right there. You need a lot of these. You need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You need a total of eight dark gray connectors, okay? So you need four yellow connectors, two white connectors, two red connectors, one, two orange connectors, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the dark gray connectors, all right? Any other parts? Oh, okay. Um, you're going to need two of these. These are tan locks. You need two of those. Don't lose them. They like to get away from you, but this is a tan lock, and you need two of them. Okay. Now, here come some special parts, okay? You're going to need one gray friction gear. One gray friction gear. Okay, so one gray gear. Then you're going to need a yellow crown gear. It's called a crown gear because it has teeth that stick up so you could wear it like a crown. <laughs> it's not that funny, is it? No. Uh, well, anyways, then you're going to need this large yellow crown gear. Okay, again, you can wear it. No, don't you put it on your, Mr. Trill, I, I shouldn't have done that, should I? Mm, no, are there, don't do that, kids. Okay, all right, so, and then the last thing they're going to need is a standard motor, okay? Now, kids, when you handle this motor, you have to handle it carefully. They will break easily. If you look at a motor, they have these pegs here that hold the connectors in place, and I will go over that with you in a minute but you have to be careful with this motor. If you drop it, you will break it and you will not be able to do the project. And we have 30 kids in each class and I only have 30 of these that are working motors. So don't drop it, hold it carefully, okay? And even that, they might not work. All right, so Mr. Troll, um, do you want to pause the video while they get parts out? Okay. Pause the video, let them get their parts out. Well, are they ready to go? All right, here we go. Now, kids, what we're going to do is we're going to build something to learn more about ratios, okay? Um, we already know that a ratio is a comparison of two different amounts, okay? But then we're going to actually find out how ratios change things, how energy can be changed using ratios, all right? So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to need two yellow connectors, two yellow connectors, all right? And I'm going to tilt this down a little bit. Hopefully you get a better view here, okay? Two yellow connectors. You're going to need a blue rod and you're going to snap the yellow connectors in to build this, okay? Then what you're going to do is take a white rod and snap it in here and a white rod and snap it in there so that you have two 90 degree angles, okay? So this is what you've built so far, all right? Then what you're going to do is take a red connector 
and snap it on like so. Okay. Now, we want to make a rectangle using the blue rods and the white rods. So that means we're going to put a blue rod here. Okay. Now, in order to close off and make a polygon, we're going to take a white connector and snap it on like so. Okay? Like so. So this is what we need right now. Okay? Now, you could talk about ratios with this. You could ask, okay, what is the ratio of blue parts to white parts? Well, blue parts, we have one, two. White parts, we have one, two, three. So it's a two to three ratio. Okay? If we said, what's the ratio of rods to connectors, we could say we have a one, two, three, four rods to one, two, three, four connectors. So that would be a four to four ratio or a one to one ratio. All right, so anyways, so now we're gonna take that. Now we're gonna take one of these little green rods and we're gonna snap it right on the very top of the white connector. Then you will take an orange 180 connector and you will snap it on the green rod like so. Okay. Then what you want to do is take a blue rod and snap it on the orange connector. So this is what we have. Okay. This is what we have so far. And then the last thing we need to do is snap a dark gray connector on. So this is what we have so far. Okay. Now, um, what, they're, what are they gonna, are they gonna build another one of these that's completely, yes, congruent, right? Okay, so we're gonna build another one of these. So you'll take two, orange, two yellow connectors, connect them, okay? And then a white rod, another white rod. Then you will take your red connector and a blue rod. And then you want your white connector snapped on there like so. And you can see that they match up exactly. That's very important for this project. And then you'll take your little green rod Snap it on the top of the white, orange connector, like so. So everything matches up, nice little cookie cutter type thing. Followed up with a blue rod and a dark gray connector, okay? So now we have some important things done, okay? Now, these are going to form a stand for your motor, okay? Now, in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take a yellow connector and we're going to slide it right in, or I'm sorry, a yellow rod into the back of the yellow connector like this, okay? Then we're going to take this side and snap it on like so. So you have this set up. Now, these can slide away, they can slide in, they can slide out. Okay, they can slide in, they can slide out, all right? Next thing you do is you take your motor, and this is where it gets tricky. Remember, don't drop your motor. It will break, I don't have any extras. You wanna make sure that the switch is up, okay? You wanna make sure the switch is up, okay? Now, you're gonna take this, and you're going to slide it into the white connector so that those pegs align like this, okay? So in other words, the whole of the motor will align with the white connector, okay? Again, it's like you've got these four pegs here. This hole aligns with this one and you just slide it in there like so and then you just slide the other side together, okay? So you have it just like that. You want to make sure these are parallel, all right? These might be a little loose, but we'll get those straightened up in a minute, okay? So now you can turn your motor on. It is a two-way switch. 
Mr. Truro, do you want to pause the video and talk about the motor? You can if you want. Okay. Now, you should all have your motors off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up what are called gear trains, or we're going to create ratios using gears. Now, this gear right here is the drive gear. This will need an axle off the motor, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to make our first axle, and we're going to take a rod, and we're going to take a tan lock. And you're going to very carefully snap the tan lock onto the yellow rod, okay? Doesn't matter where you sla slap it on, it doesn't matter, okay? Then what you're going to do, okay, you're going to take and you're going to, now this is a crown gear, so you want the crown part to slide on and into the peg, towards the peg. So you have the peg sticking this way, you have the peg sticking this way, and the crown's going that way. So we're going to slide it on like this. Now, this will spin freely, which we don't want, so you have to make this peg go into this little space right there. So you slide it down onto there. So that's why they call it a tan lock. This is now a fixed axle, okay? And then you're just going to slide it all the way down to the end like that, okay? So this is what it looks like. You have all the rod there, and then you have it pushed all the way to there, okay? Now that's the first thing that we're going to do, all right? Then what you're going to do is very carefully, okay, very carefully with your motor facing you this way. You want the motor facing away from you, okay? The switch is away from you. You're going to, from the right side, you're going to slide that through. It might take a little bit of effort to push it through. It'll snap on with a click, okay? So it will snap on with a click, all right? And you're going to push it all the way through so that you have this sticking out like that, okay? What you'll do then is take a, a gray connector, dark gray connector, and you'll snap it on, okay? Just like so, all right? And then you can turn it on and you can see what it does, okay? All right, now, next thing you want to do is turn it off, okay? Now, this is our power axle, okay? There's other names for it, but we'll just say that's our power axle. It's a fixed axle, okay? It's fixed because it's stuck in the motor. Do not force the motor to turn. That will break the motor, okay? All right, now the next thing we want to do is build another axle, and this time we're going to use a yellow rod and this friction gear, okay? When you put this on, you're going to turn it so that this, this part of the gear, this little knob sticking out there, is away, and you're going to slide the yellow rod right in there so that it's even with the end of the yellow rod. So the yellow rod is completely even, okay? Then what you're going to do, on the gear side of your motor, you're going to slide that on there so you create a gear train, okay? So now you have a medium gear connected to a small gray gear. So you have a larger to smaller ratio, large to small ratio, all right? Now, on the other side, on the other side of your friction gear rod, you're going to take a dark gray connector and slide it on like that, okay? And you want to get it close so that this doesn't wiggle out. Just slide it on just so there's not a lot of movement, okay? You don't want it out here because then your gear is going to slide off and it won't turn. So you want to make sure that that's like that, okay? So there we go. Now, don't turn on your motor, okay? Now, the next thing that you want to do, all right, is you're going to take your yellow gear, crown gear, and your other rod, and this time you're going to take your tan lock and you're going to snap it on there just like that, okay? 
hand lock snapped on just like that. Slide it down a little bit. Take your yellow crown gear with the teeth facing this way, okay, with the teeth facing this way, and you're going to slide it into the gear like that so that it's locked in there like so, okay? And you can feel the rod twist, all right? Then what we're going to do, okay, is on the gear side of your device, your machine, you're going to slide this in like so. So you get it in there and you'll have a pretty big gear train, okay, from here to there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to snap that on there, okay? Now, we have a couple of these dark gray connectors left, okay? And what we're gonna do, we don't need these right now. We'll see if we do need them. It depends on how far we get with this activity. But Mr. Troll, why don't you pause the video now and explain to them and work with them and show them what it is you have, okay? And when you're ready, we'll then show them the proper way of taking this apart, all right? So pause the video. All right, well, I guess, guess we didn't need these, but maybe those will come in handy for another activity. Um, what we're gonna do now is take apart what we've built. Now, there is a sequential way to do this so that parts don't fly away. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to take off this dark gray connector and slide the big crown gear off, okay? Once that's off, you then pull the yellow axle out. Now, you then have this tan lock, which has to come off. Now, if you try to pull it off like that, it's gonna fly. So what you wanna do is slide it to the center of the rod and then put it down so that it's facing up. Then you put two fingers on each side like this. And then you cover with your hand and you push down. When you push down, that tan lock is gonna pop off. Do not do it without putting your hand over it, okay? So go ahead, let's take out our, take our yellow gear off, put our hands over this. Do we need to pause the video? Okay, and then cover it, push down, and you have your tan lock off, okay? Now, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna just take off this dark gray, this dark gray, this blue connector, this blue connector. Now those are out of the way. Then what you wanna do is you wanna slide this over, push it that way a little bit, pop the dark gray off, okay? Then you can slide this out. Once that's out, then you can just wiggle it off and pull it, okay? So now we have a lot of our parts off, okay? Then you can take this orange connector off. Don't worry about that yet. Don't worry about that yet. The next thing you want to do is get this dark gray connector off. This is going to be the trickiest part. So you have to kind of push it. So you're going to just push it like that with your fingers, and it'll pop off. Then you slide that out, and you might have to pull a little bit. So now you put aside your motor, and now you have this set up. Very carefully slide the medium crown gear off, and now we have a, a set. We have to take this tan lock off. So slide it to the center again. Put it down like so. Cover it. Don't do this without covering it. Press down, and there you have it. Okay. Now remember, the motor is delicate. We have to be careful with it. So the next thing that we can do is we take off this yellow rod and we very, very carefully wiggle the motor off of the white connector, okay? And if parts fall off, that's fine. And then you set the motor off to the side. Ideally, you set it down like this so it won't fall. And then all you have to do is gently take these off. Don't pry like this. Side snap them off, side snap them off. Side snap off, side snap off. And then you just take everything gently apart, okay? And when you're done, we'll return things to the kit. All right, so 
Mr. Troll, how did it go? Good. All right. Well, I will leave you to your misery. Happy Merry Christmas. See you, kids. I guess I'll be around for a while. Bye.